Yep. Which one is it? Uh, Cock is it? Oh, I've got a lot later. Older or younger? 61994. Yeah, uh, it's an oldish one, isn't it? That'll be alright. One loft race. Ah, <laughs> one loft race this week. <laughs> 2012. That's one of Dave's, I think. Um, what are you thinking? Hen or a cock? Wait a minute, I get it all done for again. The slide. Yeah. A lot of uh, still powder on the Still video. Yeah. Slide and all, yeah. Is that what it is when they get older? Well. And bloody big. Almost. Yeah, down there. Yeah. There we go. Let's be on Who do we have? Cock. Uh, D. 89. This is one of Charlie's, I think. 61989. That one there. Look. I've put a hen, but it's a cock, isn't it? 61989. Yeah. Yeah, it's grown into a cock. There we go. There we go. Switched. Triple. <laughs> Hold it. Charlie will show you. Is that, it? Is that the lot now? Then? Yeah. <laughs> right. Which way are you going to hold it? I'm right handed. I don't know. Eh? Right handed, so I guess. Like that. Put, put yeah. Hand, yeah, finger between that leg and back of that one. Right. Just grip That's it. There. Right. There you go. No, stay still. I'm just filling out the form for the uh, vaccination record. Uh, all racing pigeons have got to have this done before you can race them. So I've gone with the Columbac PMV and um, these are all the birds that we vaccinated yesterday. I've made a couple of mistakes there, but I've scribbled them out. Uh, they're all my birds and then these are the birds that were, sorry, they're all my rings and then these are the birds that were given to me by other people. So fill your, fill your details in and send it off to your club secretary, I think, and uh, they keep a record and you can keep a record yourself as well. Also, we uh, ticked them off as we, um, as we as we vaccinated them, and so now we can see which birds have, have gone. I know there were three that were missing, um, and it looks like it's the 1984, which I suspected. Uh, that one, I think, uh, either got lost or got eaten by the hawk, and then... I think this one, 1997, this is one of Dave's, so that was Charlie's, and then this is one of Dave's, 1997, I'm pretty sure we had that one. Some of these birds we never actually got because they weren't wrung, or the chicks died um, in the nest. And then also one of the last ones that Charlie gave me, which was um, this one, 14889, a checker. That one, um, I think that one got hawked as well, so a bit of a shame, but at least we know which ones we've got and which ones we haven't now. Get the landing board down. I think they're all a bit nervous because yesterday I was um, fishing them out of there, so we'll see who wants to come for a fly and who doesn't. Go on then, you're free to fly with your new rings on. That's a hen. The weather's going to turn a little bit rubbish later, so I thought I'd get them out a little bit earlier. Well, there is some blue sky and the sun's um, sun shining. 10.43, let's see how long they fly for today. Also, we've got in here, um, this is Blackfoot. Um, took a bit of a funny turn when we injected him, her, yesterday. We've got a, um, a cock ring on his leg, but I'm, I'm not sure if it is a cock. I'm, I'm suspicious that it might be a hen. Um, but yeah, it just took a little bit of a funny turn. Wasn't really flying, and um, I'm not sure if we hit something when we um, vaccinated it yesterday. So... Hopefully he'll be okay. He's eating okay, drinking okay. Seems alert, just 
it was just wobbling around a little bit yesterday so i've kept it separate and we'll, we'll keep an eye on it for the next few days we didn't let them fly yesterday because obviously we vaccinated them yesterday and uh in the instructions it said not to let them exercise the day of vaccination so we kept them in but they're not looking too keen to get out and fly at the moment they're not not used to flying so early i guess there we go there's one the others might follow suit where have you gone you're braving it oh you enjoy yourself on your own there flying solo there you go get a buddy I'm sure they'll start to come out now. There we've got the older bunch up there flying nice and high. Got one of the youngest ones just gone over next door onto the onto the garage, I think, so we want to get that one back because it's a, it's not much of a flyer. I think it took off with the others just in excitement. And then there's uh, some more. There we are, look. These, I think these are a, a bit younger. Here we are, look. He's come back now. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go, land. That's it. It did. A, it, it took off that lovely dark checker there with white flights. A little bit of pied around its eye. That um, it took off when the others went, but then soon bottled it, and flew around, and then uh, landed over there. And it's come back now, which is good because it's uh, we only had that one a week, so we just want that to hang around the loft really. What I've done is I've put the phone numbers underneath the life ring, if they're older birds and I've put the phone numbers above the contact number above the life ring if they're the younger birds and it's just a quick way for me to tell which one's which um, so that if I want to separate them into the two different sections I can and I, which I still might do I didn't want to do it today just because or yesterday because there's a bit of stress with them um, being vaccinated but it will enable me then to just let the older birds out let them get flying as high as they like wherever they are there we go it looks like they've all joined together now. They're not very high now. They must have some younger ones in there with them. You shake, you shake your tin. Right, then what you got to do is stand around near that pear tree. And when they come over, and they look like they're going to come in and land. Shake the tin, stand near the pear tree, so they're going to fly over you. You probably want to go in a little bit there. That's it. Do you think they're going? <laughs> well, it's now 12 o'clock, so they've been flying out for a fair while. Um, some of them were sat on the loft so that I pushed them back up because they weren't coming in so I pushed them back up to fly and uh, Karenza had a go at calling them in I needed to get her used to calling them in so that when I'm training them down the road a little bit further then it'd be good for her to be able to clock them in or get them in so teaching her how to whistle and um, how to call the birds in I think we've picked up a couple of stragglers there so let's see if they're landing on next door's roof now so we might be able to call them in 